Okay, now let's solve this question. Find the maximum value of p is equals to 5x plus 3y under the following constants 2x plus y less than equals to 20, 2x plus 3y less than equals to 24, x greater or equals to 0, and y greater or equals to 0. This question is generally asked in question number 11, 12, or question number 22. Either this question will be asked from linear programming or the question like solve graphically will be asked. So out of these two questions, one question is almost here. So I request everyone to practice this, this question by heart. So in this question, before solving this question, let's try to understand how to draw the graph of linear inequality. How to graph the, how to draw the graph of linear inequality. So there's an inequality like x greater or equals to 0. So, how to draw the inequality? The inequality always represents a half plane. Equation, the linear equation represents a straight line. The linear inequality represents a half plane. See here, x greater or equals to 0. We have to see such half plane, such region where the value of x will be either greater or equal to 0. So, the value of x will be greater or equal to 0 in this region, in this region. So, this plane, this half plane, this half region of this screen is covered by this inequality x is greater or equal to 0. So, if it is x is greater or equal to 0, it will include the boundary also. If it is just x is greater than 0, it will not include the boundary. If it is x greater than 0, this will be a dotted line, not a solid line. So, if it is a single inequality, if there is a single variable, then we can draw the graph easily. But if there are two variables, if there are two variables like this 2x plus y less or equal to 20, 2x plus y less or equal to 20, we have to draw the table to find the set of points through which the line passes, through which the boundary line passes. And we have to join that with the help of a scale. And we have to check whether it contain one half plane or the another half plane by taking a testing point. So I summarize these all these things to draw the inequality, the graph of inequality in four different points. Like you have to memorize boundary, table, testing, and the graph. You can write it on the screen or you can write it in your copy. Just remember the four points. One is boundary. Just remember the boundary between Nepal and India. Go there and put a table there and do the testing, do the necessary testing and do the testing. That testing should be done in graph. So remember these things. B, T, T, Z. B is boundary, T is table, T is testing and Z is graph. So 2x plus y less than equals to 20. First of all, we have to find its boundary. It will, its boundary will be 2x plus y equals to 20. So the boundary line is 2x plus y equals to 20. Second, we have to find the table. We have to find the table or we have to draw the table. To find the table or the set of points through which this line or this equation pass, we have to isolate the value of y. It will be more easier if you isolate the value of y. So make a table like this, x, y. So put different random values of x so that the values of y will not be decimal to such points so that you will not get the decimal values of y. It will be easier to graph. So y, if you put here the value of x is 0, though, so it will be uh, it will be something like 20 or if you put here 10, if you put the value of x is 10, it will be 2 times 10 is 20. So 20 minus 20 is 0. Similarly, if you if you choose random points like 5, it will be 5 to the 10, 20 minus 10 is 10. So these are the set of points through which the line passes, this equation passes. This is the boundary line, this boundary line passes through these points. So number 3, you have to do the testing whether this whether this inequality contain one half region or the another half region, we have to check it. So, if there is constant here, be very careful while taking the testing point. If there is constant on the right hand side, I suggest you to take the testing point at 0, 0. It is not hard and fast that you take the testing point at 0, 0. But remember, if there is constant, you can use 0, 0. Always. Though you can take the other testing points also. If you remember that if there is constant, you will be choosing 0, 0. So, better. Always remember if there is constant, use the testing point is 0, 0. If there is no constant like 2x plus y is less or equal to 0, if it is like this, if there is no constant instead of it, if there is 0, you have to use the testing point 1, 0. Just use this testing point 1, 0. I suggest you to choose the testing point 1, 0. If there is constant, choose 0, 0. If there is 0, choose 1, 0. So now let's do the testing. Taking testing point 0, 0. Since there is constant on the other side, taking testing point, taking testing point 0, 0 in the inequality, it will be 2 times 0 plus 0 is less or equal to 20. So 0 plus 0, it will be 0. So 2 is 0 is less or equal to 20. I have 
found many discussions. I have seen many discussions of teachers that you should not put here equal to sign if you have to test the points. But I suggest that my view is that since it represents less or equal to, it represents less or equal to, and we are just taking the testing point inequality, in inequality, we can include it. It represents either it is less or equal to, it is not both the conditions. And even in the government textbook also, it has considered this same case. So I am going to follow the government textbook. So you can write here, 0 is less or equals to 20. So it is true. 0 is either less than 20 or it is equals to 20. So the first condition is true, that is 0 is less than 20. So you can shade the, you can shade the graph. Now in the graph, you can shade that region that contain the origin. So the test, so the inequality contains the origin or the half plane of the inequality contains origin. So, if you have to plot the points like uh, 0, 20 will be something around here and 10, 0 will be somewhere around here and let me see, let me choose here 5, uh, 10, 0 around here and 5, 10, let's suppose 5, 10 will be around here. So, if you plot these points and draw the straight lines, if you plot these points and draw a straight line, just a minute, if you draw point this, plot these points and draw a straight line, this is the boundary line and since the testing point for testing point 0, 0, it is true. So, T stands for towards, remember T stands for towards the testing point and F stands for far from testing point, far from testing point. So, since it represents true T for towards, so you can write here towards the testing point, you can shade the region that contains the testing point or the origin, testing point or the origin. So, I am containing this half plane contains the origin. If it was false, if it was false, I have to shade this on the other half. It has to turn away from the origin or it has to turn far from the origin. So, this is the graph of the inequality. So, let us solve this question here. I think if you are able to draw the graph of the inequalities, it will be more easier to solve the question. So, now let us solve this question. We have here objective function p is equals to 5x plus 3y. This is the objective function whose value we have to find either maximum value or the minimum value. But in this case, the question has asked us to find the maximum value. So, we will be focusing on that. And the given inequalities, these are the inequalities of the constraints, these are the limitations to these objective function. The given inequalities are 2x plus y less or equals to 20, 2x plus 3y less or equals to 24. And then next one is x greater or equals to 0 and y greater or equals to 0. These are the four inequalities that are given in the question. The corresponding equation or the boundary line of the given inequalities are 2x plus y equals to 20, 2x plus 3y equals to 24. Just change this inequality sign into equals to sign. So, these are the equation or the boundary line of the given inequalities. So, now let us make the table. So, we are done with the boundary line part. Boundary, we will be focusing on B, T, T, Z. B stands for boundary. This is the boundary line. So, second one is from equation A. Now, let us draw the table. To draw the table, we will be isolating the value of Y from equation A. So, Y is equal to 20 minus 2X. So, table for equation A. To draw the table, I will guide you to use the calculator. To use the calculator, if you can use the calculator properly, it will be easier for you to make the table or to find the set of points through which the line passes. So, so let's see the points. Let's see the equation here. We have the equation like 2x, sorry, y is equal to 20 minus 2x, 20 minus 2x. So, press more in your calculator and then press 7. There is a table there. So, this f x represents y. Okay. So, f x represents y. So, we are isolating, we have isolated the value of y in this equation from equation A, y is equal to 20 minus 2x. So, let us press here 20 minus 2x, sorry, 20 minus 2x, 20 minus 2x, 20 minus 2x, 20 minus 2x. Okay. So, press equals to, I think your calculator will not display this gx. Okay. So, start value, start with 0 and end with 10. This represents the value of x where you want to start and where you want to end. We can set, we can select from different range of range of points, different set of values. So put step one, step always one. It represents uh, whether you want to continue zero and then two, zero and then four, zero and then three, or you want to continue all the points, or you want to see all the points. So in place of zero, it is twenty, or when it is the when the value of x is one, it is eighteen. So, there are different set of points like 9, 2. So, a different set of points, you can choose any one of them. You can choose out of them. So, let me choose here. Let me see here. The points is x, 0, 20, 9, 2, 10, 0. Let's see here. And when it is, when it is, 
9, the value of when it, the value of x is 9, the value of y is the value of y is 2. So f x represents y, x represents this value. It is a 9 here, f x is 2. So when it is a 9, it is 2. So let me recall the idea again. Press mode, press 7, and then put the value here. Okay, whenever sometimes there might be fraction like this, you can put the value like 2 minus. In second case, it might be 24 minus, might be like 24 minus 3y by 2. So you can write the 24 minus 3y by 2. 24, sorry, 24 minus 3x by 2. Write like this 24 minus 3x. Press alpha and this symbol. Write here x by 2. Okay, whenever you press these equations like this, you can get the set of values from the graph or the graph. So now let's continue further. I hope you have understood that method to find the values from the calculator. So table for A. Now equation passes through the point. Equation this equation A passes through the points like 0, 20, 9, 2, and 10, 0. These are the set of points through which this this equation passes. So you can write here 0, 10, 9, 2, and 10, 0, 10, 0. So now we are done with the table. Now let's take the testing point. Taking testing point 0, 0, as I told you earlier, since there is constant on the right hand side, you can take the testing point 0, 0. 2 times 0 plus 0 is less or equal to 20. 0 is less or equal to 20, which is true. So it must turn towards the origin or it must contain the origin. So the half plane of the inequality 1 contains the origin. Similarly, let's go for table number, sorry, equation number B. This equation number B, we have 3y is equal to 24 minus 2x. If you shift the other terms, it will be y is equal to 24 minus 2x by 3. So table for equation B, if you put the values here, the table is like this. Okay, just a minute. So the table is like this. x, y is 0, 8, 3, 6, 9, 2, and 2 will 0. So equation B passes to the points like 0, 8, 0, 8, 3, 6, 9, 2, and 2 will 0. These are the points through which this line pass. So two points, minimum two points are necessary to draw a straight line, but uh, you can put more than two values. It will be easier if you choose three or four points to draw the graph. So now let's take the testing point here also. Taking the testing point 0, 0 in the inequality 2, if you put the value with 0, 0 here in this inequality 2, it will be 2 times 0 plus 3 times 0 less than equals to 24. 0 is less than equals to 24, which is true again. Okay, so 0 is always less than 24. If you are still confused with the sign of this less than or greater than, so just remember this 24 is greater than here. The mouth is open here, okay, and there is a pointed in on the other side. This bigger number points the smaller number. So the half plane of the inequality also contains the origin. If it was false, it would not have contained the origin. The inequality x greater equals to 0 represents half plane. So we have to write. We don't write to make table. We don't need to make table for the inequalities where there is single variable. You can directly write inequality x greater or equals to 0 represents the half plane where the value of x is greater or equal to 0, greater or equal to 0. And the inequality y greater or equals to 0 represents half plane where the value of y is greater or equals to 0. Okay, so this inequality represents the value, the half plane where the value of y is greater or equal to 0. And the third inequality represents the half plane where the value of x is greater or equal to 0. Now let's represent it in graph paper. Represent the points in the graph paper. We have a graph here. So let me plot the points in the graph. So first of all, what you have to do is you have to see the values of x and y in the table. So if there is any negative values, be careful. Since all the values are positive, I'm just I'm just ignoring the I'm just ignoring the negative side of the graph. Just a minute. Let me draw the graph here. Okay. Let me choose the red pin. You can just ignore the negative side of the graph since there is no any negative values. I'm shifting this on the extreme end of the graph just leaving one space there one line only and then we don't have any negative values of y also so i'm just reducing the y part here x x prime y y prime so this is origin now let's plot the points here zero is zero comma twenty so i think it will be difficult to plot the points like twenty so what we can do is we can we can take the smaller values. We can take the smaller values like 
uh, smaller scale here 0 in 20 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so 0 comma 20 this is the first point let's plot the points of the first table and then join that 9 comma 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then 20 sorry 9 9 comma 2 1 2 9 comma 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 2 and the next one is 10 comma 0 10 comma 0 so let's let's plot the points let's join them put a scale in your copy and join them i'm doing it with a free hand so it might not be that perfect i'm sorry for that now is the first inequality also satisfies it that con the origin so we can turn the inequality towards the origin just turn the origin turn the inequality towards the origin okay towards the origin you can just draw one arrow at one end and another one on the other end so let's plot the other points like 0 comma 8 0 comma 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 sorry 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 0 comma 8 next one is 3 comma 6 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 3 comma 6 9 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then 2 okay coincidentally two points are same in one table uh, both the tables okay, it's just a coincidence it's, it may happen in other questions or not so again it also comes in the origin so i'm just i'm just turning this inequality towards the origin so there are two more inequalities x greater equals to 0 and y greater equals to 0 x greater or equals to 0 i have written here x greater equals to 0 represents the half plane where the value of x is greater or equals to 0 the value of x will be greater in this region either it will be 0 or it will be greater than 0 in this region okay so the next one is y greater or equals to 0 the value of y will be positive in this part sometimes you may see uh, you may see the language like the uh, x greater or equals to 0 and y greater or equals to 0 represents a first quadrant you can write in that way also but uh, if you want to write in detail you can write like this also so let's see the common reason let's see the common reason the common solution reason or the common polygon where we can find the solution of the objective function the maximum or the minimum value of the objective function so let's go through the inequalities this inequality just this uh, just see the inequality that is closed that is closed here okay this represents just below it this also represents just below it we have to see for the common region among all so the common between this and this will be here so let me share this region just below it okay when i reach this point again this line represents the area just below it so let's draw it below just below it when i come here i meet with another boundary line this says it says that you have to move you have to draw just above it the solution region is just above the line this boundary line so again when i meet this boundary line again it says you have to bound or you have to confine your solution region just right of it so just draw it just set it and you will find a a polygon here a convex polygonal region here okay so let me draw the graph quickly here others also please do it in your graph copy okay so this is the common reason of all the inequalities it's not that perfect with a digital pen so i suggest you to do it perfectly when you write with your pen in the copy so let's let's include the points like this is a it is 0 comma 0 wherever there is the polygon the, po the closed polygon is here so b 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 comma 0 next one is 9 comma 2 c 9 comma 2 and then the next one is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 0 comma 8 you can write here like c d a b c d so don't forget to write here scale don't forget to write the scale here scale 10 small boxes is equals to 1 unit 10 small boxes sorry 5 small boxes we have used here 5 small boxes is equals to 1 unit 5 small boxes is equals to 1 unit you can write in this or you can just say a small reason like here and you can write here you can write here 1 square unit like that also so from graph what you can see here is 
the quadrilateral o a b c is the feasible region this is the feasible region and the feasible solution is you can write the feasible points in the table the objective function remax so we have the points like 00 10 0 9 2 and 0 20 sorry 0 20 or it is 0 8 it is 0 8 0 8 the objective function is p is equals to 5x plus 3y so let's find the value 5 into let's put the value of x and y here 5 into 0 plus 3 into 0 it will be 0 again 5 into 10 plus 3 into 0 5 into 10 plus 3 into 0 it is 50 5 into 9 plus 3 into 2 it is 45 plus 6 it is equals to 51 i think so so it's 5 times 0 plus 3 times 8 this is equals to 24 so we have the maximum value here since the question just asks the maximum value so therefore the maximum value of p is equals to 5x plus 3y is is 51 8 it is 51 8 9 comma 2 so this is the solution of this question first of all what do you have to do you have to write the boundary line secondly what you have to do you have to draw the table for it thirdly what you have to do you have to do the testing point and just do the graph write the graph and come back with the feasible solution feasible polygon and you can find the maximum value or minimum value by putting those feasible points in the objective function i hope you have understood it i'll explain it in nepali while solving the set please go through the solution and try to understand and practice a lot thank you everyone